feel very vindicated after that. The U.S. media really gave you guys no chance going into that game, and a lot certainly kind of proved them wrong out there. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very proud of the players. Uh, they've and the staff. Everyone has been totally committed since I've since I've arrived, and uh, you know we changed things today because we were disappointed at certain aspects of the game on Saturday against Denmark. And uh, I thought tonight our players showed everything about a Canadian football team that we would expect in terms of heart, commitment, uh, endeavour, everything. Sure, it might not have been the silkiest performance at times, but I tell you what, if we were going to give a goal away tonight, it was going to be through a mistake. And uh, I'm so proud of, of the players, every single one of them that went on the park contributed. And uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity and the staff that I had supporting me. And you, you met, you've had some tough games in your two interim stints as Canadian head coach. Personally, how does it feel to, to not pick up a loss today? Well, I've just said that to the guys. That's my first, uh, I'm, a wee bit, I'm a bit like a karaoke singer here at the moment. My voice has gone a little bit. But uh, that's my first point in five games. You know, the CSA have really given me some really easy games over the last few years with uh, fourth place Czech Republic years ago and 10th place Republic of Ireland, Finland. Denmark and now of course the United States and uh, I, I'm so proud of finally getting a result. Uh, it means the world to me and uh, I'm sure it will mean everything to my family and everybody back home. I'm just so proud of our players tonight. I, I just think that you know we asked for big hearts tonight, big engines. There were some incredibly tired legs you would imagine at this stage of the season for them. Uh, some haven't even started pre-season training and they've come into a fabulous arena. I've got to take my hands off to the people in Houston who built this stadium. This is a fantastic stadium. Um, so I, I, I'm nothing but delighted at the moment. I'm very, very proud of our players and uh, very grateful for our staff for all the work they've done. Night and day defensively compared to Saturday. What what sparked the turnaround? Well, we changed the shape a little bit and uh, we put uh, players in certain positions and uh, we made them aware. You know, we went through things in training and we showed some errors that were made. On Saturday on the video and that is massive when you get into the coaching side of things as soon as a player can see some of the errors that he's making he learns from that and uh, we, we we knew the US team you know from the MLS and our knowledge of the MLS with our staff and, and the players within this the, the system here what we have at the moment so we weren't overawed by the occasion we, we knew right away that if we dug in deep we could get a point minimum here and uh, that was evident tonight I, I'm, I'm very happy so if things, unless things change, this is the end of your stint as Canadian interim head coach. Can you can you just summarize the kind of camp it's been and, and sort of where things stand with the team right now? Well, everybody's very happy, obviously, Gavin. The, uh, after Saturday, everybody knew that it was a, a disappointing performance in some ways, certainly the defensive side of it. And any successful Canadian team that I've ever been involved in was built on how we defended. And uh, the, I'm just thinking that now that hopefully the penny has dropped, there were some incredible performances there tonight, and it was a big ask of you know for such a short turnaround in games to come back into this arena defensively. Our shape was was fabulous at times, so I'm very very proud. That would be the biggest thing is that the guys have learned that in order to get results away from home, that defensive ask is absolutely.